A short conversation in Lebanese Arabic. بدك واصلك على البيت؟ الوقت مأخر. لا خلص ما بدي عزبك. لا ولو ما في عذاب أو عذابك راحة. عن جد ميرسي كتير. تكرم عينك ولو شو كم شغيك عنا. Let's repeat this with Latin script. بدك واصلك على البيت؟ الوقت مأخر لا خلص ما بدي عزبك لا ولو ما في عذاب or عذابك راحة عن جد ميرسي كتير تكرم عينك ولو شو كم شغيك عنا Now let's break this down بدك وصلك على البيت الوقت مأخر بدك you want in the feminine form Waslik, I drop you. Baddik waslik, do you want me to drop you? Albet, home. Now, if we break this down further, we know that baddik is you want in the feminine form. However, wasl is the verb plus ik. This one means you, drop you. But I'm not saying wasilik, I'm saying waslik. So the moment you add this, you don't pronounce the E anymore. Waslik, badik waslik. Another thing is that in Arabic, uh, do you want me to drop you means literally, do you want me to make you arrive? Because this verb wasil is similar to the verb wasil, which means he arrived. This one is wasil, to make someone or something arrive from one place to another or to take something from one place to another. That's why in this case it means, would you like me to drop you? Baddik waslik albet. Now, if we break albet down, it means a, which means on, plus il, which means the, plus bet. عالبيت. So I'm not saying عالبيت. I'm saying عالبيت. We kind of join them. But also the a is the abbreviation of على plus l. So you hear you can say على البيت as well. But I abbreviated and I said عالبيت. So in, in Arabic you would say to the house which means home. So بديك وصلك عالبيت. الوقت مأخر. It's late, basically. But the way we say it in Arabic is الوقت, the time. الوقت, مأخر. مأخر means late. Here I used مأخر in the masculine form because the word وقت is a masculine word. الوقت مأخر. بدك وصلك على البيت. الوقت مأخر. لا خلص. ما بدي عزبك. لا. No. You can say لا or لا. لا خلاص or لا خلاص خلاص means enough but in this case it doesn't mean enough no not at all it means that's okay that's fine لا خلاص it's alright it's okay no it's okay ما بدي عزبك بدي is I want ما بدي is I don't want عزبك trouble you ما بدي عزبك I don't want to trouble you now, again, if we want to break the verb عزبك down, it comes from the verb. It, it doesn't come. It's actually the verb عزب plus ak. Trouble you. عزب also literally means torture you. So, ما بدي عزبك, but we don't pronounce it ما بدي عزبك. We pronounce it ما بدي عزبك. I don't want to trouble you. لا ولو ما في عذاب or عذابك راحة When I say لا ولو it's a way to say how can you say this or how can you do this but when I say لا ولو as an answer to a favor it's a way to say of course I can do you the favor how can you say this which means don't mention it it's a very friendly way to say of course I will do you a favor and it's no trouble لا ولو ما في عذاب في عذاب there is torture ما في عذاب there is no torture literally which means no trouble لا ولو ما في عذاب no no trouble 
Or there's a nice expression in Arabic which says عزيبك راحة This is because he's talking to a woman. If he's talking to a man, he would say عزيبك راحة Now عزيب, again torture, عزيبك, your torture, feminine عزيبك, your torture, masculine and راحة in Arabic means comfort It's like you are saying to someone your your troubling or your torturing is comfort comfort for me it's a way to say of course you're not troubling me it's a very nice expression and we use a lot عزيبك راحة or عزيبك راحة عن جد مرسي كتير عن جد really مرسي كتير thank you a lot تكرم عينك ولو شو كم شغيك عنا Let's repeat this. تكرم عينك تكرم عينك It's an expression to say you're very welcome. It's a very, very friendly expression and warm expression to say you are more than welcome. But if we break this down, it literally means تكرم in the feminine form is a feminine verb which literally means may it be generous. It doesn't exist in English, of course, and it also means basically may it be honored. Okay, let's see what is it that may it be honored. Ain, ain means eye, your eyes, basically eye, and ainik your eye, feminine. Tikram ainik, literally it means may your eye be generous or may your eye be honored. It's a way to say, of course, your wish is my command, I will do you this favor. And also, we can extract another word from the verb tikram, and it's the word karim, the adjective karim. And karim means generous in the masculine form, and in the feminine form, it's karime. Karime. Tikram aynik, if you're talking to a woman. If you're talking to a man, you would say tikram aynak. Again, the person is saying walo. You can say this walo in different contexts. In this case, walo means of course. In a negative way, you can also use the word walo. If somebody does something that you didn't expect and is, is not nice or is uh, impolite or it's really inconsiderate, you go walo. How can you do that? Walo. But in this case, it's a positive way of using the word. Tikram aynik walo. شو كم شغيك عنا Now this is an expression and it's also a nice expression to use in Lebanese Arabic. Let's break this down. شو means what. It's like the person is saying what. كم شغيك عنا كم means how many. شغيك, that's me, my name. عنا, we have. You see, it's one person talking but he says عِنَّا because this is a fixed expression we have it doesn't change so you only need to change the name of the person instead of شَغِيك if you're talking to someone else you change my name and you put let's say شو كم سنتي when you say to someone how many سنتيات do we have or how many شَغِيكس do we have or how many شَهِيز do we have شَهِي is my brother's name by the way or how many شَهِيز do we have it's a way to say, you're so valuable to me or you're so special, of course I'm going to do you this favor. So don't even think of asking me not to do you this favor or not to trouble me. Of course I'm going to do this favor because you're special, you're valuable, because there's not too many people like you. And this is a very common expression, even if the person is not so dear to your heart or so close to your heart or, and all of that. You can still use this expression as an expression of politeness or friendliness. Let's repeat this conversation slowly. بدك وصلك على البيت الوقت مأخر. لا خلاص ما بدي عزبك. لا ولو ما في عزب عزبك راحة. عن جد مرسي كتير. تكرم عينك ولو شو كم شغيك عنا Now this تكرم عينك expression I can say it in a normal way تكرم عينك but many times 
you see I'm gonna change the tone of my voice and say tikramainik with this stress on the k tikramainik that makes it friendlier basically ulik tikramainik many times we also use this sound ulik ulik tikramainik or ulak tikramainak if it's a guy ulik if it's a girl ulak if it's a guy it's a friendly way of saying of course now let me repeat the conversation faster بديك وصلك على البيت الوقت مأخر لا خلص ما بدي عزبك لا ولو ما في عذاب أو عذابك راحة عن جد ميرسي كتير تكرم عينك ولو شو كم شغيك عنا Now this was me reading with natural speed Initially try slowly but later on when you feel comfortable of course you can try to say it much faster until you almost say it with the speed of native speakers See you next time